in the case of armed robbery at about 08.45 hours. The incidence of crime in Nigeria right now has reached an alarming new level. Kings are killed, kids are kidnapped, just like it happened in a kitty state yesterday. In fact, we have another chibok right in our hands. They are demanding 100 million naira. Nowhere is safe. People are confused. They don't know where to run to. But no one can run from his father's land. Where are you going to run to if your father's land is no longer safe? This brings us to the two factors that security agents in Nigeria can use to get things under control very quickly. The first one is crime prevention. It might not sound practical that people can prevent crime. After all, crimes are being committed in Western countries with all their technology. But there are basics that security agencies must do in Nigeria in order to prevent crime. Like securing all the borders to make sure that there is no way criminals can smuggle in arms. Local manufacturers of arms in Nigeria should be put under the watch of security agencies. Either they bring them closer or they increase surveillance to make sure that arms do not get into the hands of criminals. If they employ these measures, it will go a long way to reduce the legal arms in circulation that can be used to commit crimes. The second factor is response. Whenever a crime is reported, a timely response matters because they are sending a message to the criminals, you will never get away. We will continue to chase you down till we catch you. We will never get away. Because the major motivation of criminals for committing a crime in the first place is the fact that they will get home without problems. They will escape after committing the crime. That's their motivation. If the police and other security agents make it a point of duty to always respond on time and make sure that they will never stop until all the criminals are caught, even if it takes two weeks of continuous search for the criminals, they will have to do it to make sure that no one gets away. If they set this kind of record consecutively for several months, it will be a psychological warfare that will defeat the criminals. They will think twice before committing any criminal act in the future. This is how crime is fought in many advanced countries. You do not let someone get away. If you fail in stopping the crime in the first place, you do not let them get away. You make sure you block all escape routes. You must make sure you catch them. If you don't catch them, that will be a motivation for them to strike again in the future. This brings us to this story. In the case of armed robbery, at about 08.45 hours. Three policemen from the Ogun State Police Command who were in the business of kidnapping people and extorting money from them. Yes, it is kidnapping. People don't understand what is going on. When armed policemen stop you along the road, they force themselves into your vehicle and force you to start driving them around town, not to the station. That's actually a kidnap. And in the process of driving around town, they start taking money from your account. They force you to transfer money from your account to a specified account number. That's armed robbery. Yes, that's exactly what these three men did to a student in Ogun State. They are now dismissed from the police. They are awaiting trial. It happens everywhere before we hear the full account from the police. This also happened recently in Abuja where the police kidnapped a man after stopping him along the way. In the process of driving around town, they took him around the FCT. They ended up robbing him of nearly 40 million naira. Some of them have been caught. Some of the money have been recovered. This is the situation we find ourselves in. The way they operated was they are like, you know, kidnappers, you know. They stopped the young man on the road, took him to the car, start checking his phones and check his account balance. And that was how they wiped everything off to two accounts they gave to the boy, Access Bank and uh, Money Point account. All right. So, um, we traced that vehicle. It's a, ve it's a white bus to DFI STS. That's a special tactical squad created by the previous uh, IG. Everyone out there, just be careful. What situations around you? Always observe ahead. Do not try to put yourself in danger by trying to run away from someone that is holding a gun or telling you to stop. You might endanger your life in the process. Just follow them around. Do not resist. There are also some measures you can take to protect yourself more. 
by uninstalling your bank app when you're making certain voyages. Also, make sure you don't have your ATM card on you all the time. Always take your ATM card when you need it. Knowing the emergency numbers of the police in your community is also very advisable so that whenever you get involved in such things and you immediately regain your freedom, you have to call the emergency numbers whether they work or not. Keep calling them. Keep making them know that there is crime going on so that one day they will start fighting the crime. They will start responding in a timely manner so that they can take the fight to the criminals themselves. The more they feel they can do it and get away, the more it will continue. The more others will be motivated. Hey, these guys did this, they did this, they went here and they all went home. Nothing happened. We will try our own and see how it goes. So, out of the two major factors that guide policing, the police must at least be major in one. If they can prevent the crime from happening, let's assume they failed woefully, no one can perfectly prevent crime from happening anyway, but response must be harsh. It must be very strict. They must respond on time and even if they are late to the party, they must use helicopters, drones, everything at their disposal to make sure they track and arrest people that are involved. That's how to keep the society sane. No business can thrive in an atmosphere of insecurity. Ever wonder why many companies are leaving Nigeria? It's not just about the economy or the devaluation of the Naira. It also has to do about security. If there is so much insecurity, there's nothing that can function effectively. People are afraid to come out. If people are not coming out, if people are not traveling and moving around, how can businesses thrive? Who will come and patronize them? Who will come to the market if people are not moving around? So people should be free to move around wherever they want to go. It will promote tourism if there is serious security around the whole place. Now, let's take a listen. In the case of armed robbery, on 12th January 2024, at about 08.45 hours, one Kashimawu Emmanuel Mayor of Tatsue Ijebode reported at the station that while he was driving in his Toyota Vensa car with registration number LSD 813EX, brown in color, that he came across a gang of four armed men and one of them was putting on a police round neck camouflage while three others were unmuffed. He demanded for his phone, which he calmly declined. In the process, one of them fired a shot into the air, and that was when he complied. He entered into his car and took him away towards Shagamo Expressway. On getting to Ososa, they made a U-turn to Ijebode where a sum of 312,000 Naira was forcefully transferred from his account to an OP account, number 909-782-9766. Upon the receipt of this report, the DPO quickly made a call to the OP account number, where it was discovered that OP account belongs to a POS operator in Ijebode. The DPO then gave instruction that on no account to the POS operator give out the money transferred to that account to anyone who comes for it. More so, the operator should tactically delay anyone who comes for the money pending his arrival. On getting to the POS shop at Ibadan Garage, one first number 513707 Copra Ido Sunday attached to Ijebuife was met waiting to cash the money and was promptly arrested. While taking him to the station, he cited his accomplices, namely AB number 341113. Inspector Taiwo Kolawale and AP number 309292 Inspector John 
Okui, both attached to the Buffet Division, and one civilian, Adesinyan Matthew, who happened to be the driver, was also arrested. Exhibits recovered from them include Type 06 rifle, one AK-47 rifle, and one Toyota Camry. In the course of investigation, two other victims who had earlier or been attacked came forward and identified them to have earlier robbed them of their belongings in the like manner. The three policemen have been tried in order room and dismissed. They will be charged to court soonest.